Inside of a gaming PC, if you want to achieve high FPS in your favorite games, the GPU or graphics card is the most important component. This PC component will literally determine how smooth the gameplay is going to be. Now, 1440p resolution, in my opinion, is the sweet spot because it's not as expensive as 4K, but also looks much better than 1080p. For that reason, I will show you the best 1440p gaming graphics cards on a budget that can of course be used for 1080p high FPS as well in case you have a 1080p monitor and you want to upgrade down the line. And I'll show you the level of performance that you can achieve with these graphics cards in different type of games. You will have the links to all of these GPUs and bonus ones that I will be mentioning today down in the video description. My name is Valentino, with that being said, let's start. We will start by talking about the cheapest graphics card in this list, and that's going to be the RX 6650 XT. And it is very nice when it comes to 1440p, especially if you're going to be playing easy to run games. This graphics card is going to be perfect for those type of titles. Now, if you want to play high demanding games, you can do so, but keep in mind that you will most likely have to turn on FSR, which is the upscaler from AMD, in order to achieve a smoother frame rates. In a test from TechSpot, which is a test on very high demanding titles, high to ultra settings, the 6650 XT was able to average 59 FPS, which means that it's going to perform well, but if you want a smoother level of performance, once again, you turn on FSR and you go from 59 FPS on average to 70 or 80 FPS, depending on the game and depending on the settings. But anyway, you have to keep in mind that you are limited by the VRAM here, because you get 8 gigs of VRAM, which is going to be enough many titles at 1440p, but not for the most high demanding ones. Then, in terms of esports games, with this graphics card, you can expect 240 plus FPS when it comes to those games, but in that case, it will depend on the CPU that you have. And when it comes to 1080p resolution, you can play the most high demanding games at 85 plus FPS on average. Every graphics card in this list is going to be able to play at 1080p, the most high demanding titles, high to ultra settings, because the minimum graphics card is going to allow you to achieve 85 plus FPS, which is a very nice number and a very smooth level of performance, considering we are talking about high demanding titles on high to ultra settings. Now, this graphics card right now is going for $210, which is a very good price for the level of performance that you get. With the next one, we have the budget graphics card, and I have this one myself, the RTX 4060. This is slightly faster on the 6650 XT, and you can average around 62 FPS. But with this graphics card, the thing that you get is DLSS. It's the upscaler from NVIDIA, and it usually works better than FSR. It has a better image quality and also better performance. And instead of 62 FPS on average, you can achieve around 80, 85 plus FPS, once again, depending on the game and depending on the settings. And in terms of eSports shooters, you can expect 320 plus FPS on average. This PC that you see right here has the RTX 4060, and I made it specifically for eSports games on a budget. So if you want to see the full specifications for that one, you will have my video talking about it in the top right of the screen. Now, keep in mind that the 4060 also has 8 gigs of VRAM, so you have that limitation as well. In case you want to play the most high demanding games out there, ultra settings, keep in mind that 8 gigs of VRAM might not be enough depending on your favorite games. But overall, the 4060 is pretty decent for 1440p resolution. And if you want to play at 1080p, you can expect 90 plus FPS in the most high demanding titles out there, which is a very strong level of performance. The price for this graphics card when I'm recording this video is $280. With the next one, we have the best value 1440p budget graphics card, and it's going to give you really good level of performance at 1440p, and it is much better than the other graphics cards because here you get 12 gigs of VRAM. And I'm talking about the RX 6750 XT. This GPU is amazing because, once again, it has 12 gigs of VRAM, so you don't have that VRAM limitation when it comes to high demanding titles, and it's also the fastest one. Here you can expect 80 plus FPS on average when we are talking about high demand games on high to ultra settings so that's a very strong level of performance considering we are talking about native resolution that being said if you turn on the upscaler fsr you can expect around 100 plus fps depending on how demanding the game is and depending on the settings but honestly this graphics card in my opinion is the best price performance one when it comes to 1440p on a budget right now going for 300 dollars i will start by talking about a higher end graphics card and that's going to be the RX 7700 XT. This graphics card 
is a 1440p GPU, so it is designed for this resolution, not for 1080p, not for 4K, but it is purely designed for 1440p and is able to average over 90 fps when it comes to high demanding titles very strong level of gaming performance when it comes to 1440p even in high demanding games you get 12 gigs of ram and when it comes to 1080p resolution you can expect 120 plus fps in the most high demanding titles it's a complete overkill for 1080p but if you have a 1080p monitor you can stick with your 1080p monitor and get the fastest graphics card now as i said before this is not a budget graphics card and the price by the time of filming is 380 dollars so if you have the budget to buy it and you have around 400 dollars to spend on a gpu the 7700 xt is a great option or the rx 6800 which is basically the same graphics card but that one is a bit older so the 7700 xt at the same price point as the 6800 is in my opinion the better option now let's go through two more gpus but these ones are from the used market so if you want the cheapest graphics card that you can get for a 1440p resolution then i recommend you the gtx 1080 ti and this one is going for 160 bucks super cheap it comes with 11 gigs of ram it doesn't make any sense anyway to me because you are not going to be playing the most high demanding titles on ultra settings with this gpu because the level of performance is not the best as you can tell at this price point you are not going to be getting the same level of performance as the highest end gpu for 1440p but if you want to play easy to run games this one is perfect because you are spending just 160 bucks now it performs really similar compared to the rtx 4060 or rx 6650 xt so if you want to play those high demanding games i do recommend you turning on any upscaler available in your favorite game for you to achieve closer to 70 fps on average when we are talking about those type of games and then the second used gpu is a bit more expensive but it's also much better and i'm talking about the rtx 3070 and this one is going for 235 dollars now with this one you get 8 gigs of vram so you have that vram limitation in case you want to play high demanding games on the ultra preset but it is very strong when it comes to the level of performance in fact it is very similar compared to the rx 6750 xt so you will be getting 80 plus fps when it comes to high demanding games at 1440p however the 6750 xt has 12 weeks of vram and that's why in my opinion is the best value one but it is also more expensive so if you have around 230 dollars to spend and you don't mind going for a gpu that's used then the 3070 i think is a very good option and you get dlss as your upscaler which as i said before is the better upscaler when it comes to 1440p the crazy part is that if you play easy to run games you can also play at 4k with this gpu i highly recommend you turning on dlss if you're going to be playing at the highest resolution but anyway the cpu is very important as well because you can have the best graphics card in the market but if your cpu is weak you will be bottlenecking the level of performance and you will be getting stutters and trust me that's the last thing that you want in your system if you want to see the best cpu and gpu combos in 2024 for every budget and every resolution you will have my video talking about them in the top right of the screen thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i will see you on the next one